Happy New Day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Get myself settled. Ah. Wow. Let's see what's going to come out in this video. <laughs> I have um, been collecting topics, questions, complaints, concerns for a very long time. And uh, I'm a bad YouTuber because I haven't been active on here. As you all know and can see, um, Life is still happening, obviously. Um, oh man, I just, I, I, feel, I feel overwhelmed with the different conversations and discussions and just the questions, just everything that's been um, coming into my reality. And, um, Yeah, there have been some drastic changes in, in my life and uh, many other people's lives. And um, you got some people that are trying to figure out what to do. You have others that uh, they don't they don't know if they can figure out what to do. It's just everything just seems to be like in in shambles uh in many areas of life and then of course you always have people who are living very peacefully um their reality is uh not filled with chaos confusion and disruptions and interferences and all of that so as always everyone is living um in their own individual reality but the collective energy is definitely very heavy um even with you know the the people in the world who aren't who are in positions to not be dealing with struggles and stress and depression and just a lot of uh, things falling apart. Um, it seems that the majority of the world, the, the bigger collective uh, is definitely going through a lot. Um, I think back to my last re recorded video, um, which was titled, My Life is Falling Apart. Um, and I look at the the things that have changed just from that video. Um, I think I did that video in May, and it is July, so it's been a couple of months. Um, my life has, I mean, just gone in some directions that I didn't see coming when I did that video two months ago. And um, yeah, uh, you just have to, for, for me at least, I've, I've realized that I just have to um, continue to be adaptable and um, be detached, which I, I always, talk about um don't have any expectations of anything long term with with anything because things are just happening so quickly and um i had a few people request that i talk about a phrase that i mentioned in one of the last live streams which was the flushing of the toilet. Um, 
well, from what I remember, I said that th I see this particular period that we're in as a collective hum humanity um, within the evolutionary process. Um, we are in a period that I see as the flushing of the toilet. And um, in so many ways, I was asked to elaborate on that, go deeper into it, which uh, I'll do my best. Um, because the energies have definitely been, been, have changed a lot on my end, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to uh, go a little bit deeper into that. So, some of you all watching may be aware that humans, that we have been here for a while, um, I don't really want to get into those specifics because I don't know. I don't know if it's been millions, billions. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about anything anymore, but I'm just going to go off what I feel is, is correct because things are just changing so much. One day you're, you're feeling a certain way and believing a certain way and like it could literally just disappear the next day. So I don't know what's going on. Life is just happening and I'm just going with it. So. In this particular moment, this is how I feel about this particular topic. From what I understand, as humans, we have been here for a while. We have been through many different generations and we have been building, like the, the way in which humans are now, we were not always like this thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, however many years ago. It's clear to me, this is what I feel, that we have evolved uh, in the way that we think, the way that we communicate. Um, we have become more intelligent despite the many things that are reflecting a lack of intelligence these days. Um, I feel that even those things are still a part of a bigger process. So one of the things that I've talked about before is the different eras that we are dealing with and the eras that we have dealt with and the ones that are coming up. And I've learned through studying human design, which I always talk about as well, that we have been in an era that deals with community. It deals with family. It deals with tribalism. It deals with networking, organizing and structuring. Um, it deals with institutions, so your school systems, your uh, the things that deal with aiding people, so like the, the hospitals, the pharmaceutical companies, the banks, churches, religion, all of this is a part of the era that we have been operating in for the last 400 plus years. And a lot of you all have heard of like the age of Aquarius and, um, you know, now we're in the age of awakening and, you know, th there are many different ways in which the cycles or the ages or the eras have been broken down. And based on whatever you're drawn to, 
um, that can help you understand what each cycle, what each era represents. So human design has been the easiest way for me to understand the cycles. Um, it's just clicked for me once once I started learning and it's it's been logical it's it's been just very easy to to just get it and when it comes to the way some um, forms of information break down the ages you have your ages that last for like thousands of years and for me, that's harder to grasp because it's hard to go back thousands of years and feel that everything that you're learning is the truth. Whereas going back 400 years, you're, you're closer to that. Like you're, you're, you living right now is closer to 400 years ago to where there's more evidence of what has happened in the last 400 plus years. So in me just focusing on the last 400 years and the cycle that what we are all operating in right now, that cycle is coming to a close. And according to human design, it will officially be over in 2027. And I resonate with that because I, I, I feel that it's already over. And when I look at a cycle that has lasted 400 plus years, and I'm looking at, this is 2018, 2027 is less than 10 years away. Looking at that on a 400 plus year timeline, the last 10 years is pretty much it like it's over it's already over it's like the last speck on the timeline and to know that or to learn and to actually feel and see that we are moving into the next era which is the era of individuality and dealing with every man for himself and me, 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 me and selfishness and everything that deals with disconnecting from group, think, tribalism, family, support systems, networking, communi community, um, to see that that aspect is over and we're moving into something that deals with everyone being in their own lane and doing what they want to do. Everyone alive right now is experiencing a level of deterioration and a level of decay that our parents and our grandparents didn't necessarily experience because if you if you look back to when your grandparent to our grand grandparents generation which let's say the the late 1800s to the early 1900s they were coming out of not having much and then transitioning into a world to where they were getting more benefits they were getting more rights in a lot of cases um things were there was you know more education coming in there there were things were evolving and lives were getting better for those particular generations. 
So if I was someone born in the early 1900s, for my particular lifespan, it would, it would seem like a lot of progress was made from the 1900s up until, or the, the early 1900s up until the, the late 1900s. A lot of progress was made in that time period. But this generation, the, the younger people and the, the ones that still have, you know, quite a bit of time left, we're really feeling a different level of deterioration because there's nothing left to gain in the era of community and family and tribalism and uh, the marriage bond and religion. You know, there's nothing left because the cycle that built all of that is, is over. So a lot of people have been feeling really distraught on the inside and really confused um, and experiencing an internal battle. And I can say that, you know, I, I feel that as well. It's just that my awareness allows me to be calm through all of the turbulence. Um, what I'm experiencing personally that many people that I've communicated with relate to and are feeling in their own unique ways is the reality that everyone that is alive right now is coded and imprinted with everything from the old era everything from the era of of community and and tribalism and family and and all of what comes with that and we've we've come into this world imprinted with that so there are a lot of people in my age group and and younger and even older who are still driven to accomplish dreams and goals and things that deal with the old era and is becoming more and more difficult the closer we get to 2027 because the dreams and the goals that we may have had as children or teenagers, a lot of us are realizing that it's becoming more and more um, it's it's seeming to be more and more impossible to fulfill the things that we always felt that we were here to complete and we were here to accomplish. A lot of people feel, A lot of people are trying to figure out what is the point of being alive right now when you're you're watching everything that you know fall apart and then you're actually feeling the breakdown within your own code within your own blueprint within your own body you're feeling it breaking down you're feeling that support is becoming less and less. You're feeling that family values and 
morals are becoming more and more meaningless. You're feeling that there's no point in being in relationships or getting married. You're feeling that if you wanted to have children before, what is the point of bringing a child into this, into this point in time to where we're all being flushed down a toilet? You're feeling yourself being pulled to be an individual and to break away from your family or break away from your tribe or uh, divorce or break up with your significant other. You're feeling yourself being like pulled in into two different directions. You're feeling the, the death of, of everything that you thought was supposed to be and trying to use your code, your, your imprint that's been laid out from the old era. You're tr trying to figure out how do I use this to adapt and adjust and to evolve into all of this new energy that's coming in that represents individuality and, and being self-sufficient and being in your own lane and um, disconnecting from situations that try to enslave you and, and, and make you, you know, a, a, a part of somebody else's agenda. You know, all, all of this is like happening all at once, it's happening so fast. And a lot of people just don't know what to do. And uh, it's hard, it's really hard. Everyone's changing. Um, it's, it's like anything that you anything that you want to grasp, you know, or just like just hold for a second. It's like it just it just runs out your your hands like water or like sand it's like you you can't there's you you can't hold on to anything because it's like it's all going away and because so many people don't know what's going on they're just like riding this this evolutionary wave that's taking us out of here and you know just cutting off <laughs> everything that we know just just ending it like look at all of the things that are just ending stores are closing stores that you remember from childhood are just like closing I saw, I think this was yesterday, I saw um, somewhere where, uh, I don't know where this place is located, but th there's one Blockbuster left. <laughs> Y'all remember Blockbuster? Like I forgot all about Blockbuster, but just, there's one Blockbuster left. And it was on the front page of something, whether it was Yahoo or Google, but y'all can look it up. I didn't read any articles or anything, but. Banks 
banks are just like closing um schools schools are shutting down like It's whole schools that are just closed. <laughs> schools that used to hold, you know, hundreds of children and teach hundreds of children. Like the institutions are closing. The banks are closing. People are getting divorced left and right. People are leaving their, their um, religions that they grew up in. They're just, their beliefs in in gods and deities are just just disappearing uh people are disowning their families you have more and more people that are getting older and sicker and the way that there used to be family support before where if if a family member got sick the 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 family members would come to the aid and people are just being left behind. Like senior citizens are just like at home by themselves. People 70, 80, 90 years old, just, just left, just left to fend for themselves. Children. It's so many children just like, just running around with where are your parents at? The parents are doing their own thing. They're like, look, I popped you out. You figure it out. You go find you something to eat. I'm going to be over here doing my thing. I'm an individual now. <laughs> like, it's, we're, we're watching the end. We're watching the end of everything that we've been taught from our parents, our grandparents, in schools. I look at I was in school for 17 years straight from preschool through my third year of college when I finally realized that school's not for me. 17 years of school, of being in an institution, multiple institutions, and I don't remember anything out of those 17 years. I don't remember one year's worth, one quarter, one semester worth of anything and it's like and i was being told to to get a degree graduate from college and then you have the people that did all of that people my age that did all of that and it's it means nothing <laughs> your degree means nothing your your I remember the pressure of the ACT and the, the SAT test, and it meant nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So, you, you look at your life, and and you know you can't do it by yourself but then it's so hard to find support it's so hard to connect with people who who haven't been taken over by that that selfishness but the insidious cutthroat version the wolf version of the selfishness to where you can actually trust people that you connect with for support purposes. You, 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 you don't know where to turn because you're realizing that you've been indoctrinated by your family, by your religion, by the school system, by just so much stuff and you're being pulled to find yourself because of this strong individual energy that is is pushing you into the new era 
but your everything that you know is built on the new, so it's hard to let go of it. But you're being forced to because it's dying. It's it's all it's decaying. It's already dead, and it, and it's just still decaying. And we're just in that place to where, to me, it makes so much sense that people would find ways to check up out of here, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. I feel that there is a huge um, there's a, 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 a huge energy of suicide on the planet right now because it has to be if that makes sense um people are talking more and more about how that you know they really don't want to live to be too old because it would feel like torture like it already feels like torture in a lot of situations now it it's so much suffering it's so hard it's so hard to to for the majority of people to make it out here and to feel comfortable in these conditions to where we we see so much potential with the technology and and just these amazing new innovative creative ideas and inventions and and things that are being created but it's like what we're seeing is is like the preview of what we won't be able to experience the fullness of because with all of this new innovative stuff that is coming out with technology and and just the intelligence that we are putting into machines and and all of that our bodies are being beat up so badly just from everyday life that we can't fully enjoy all of this new technology and all of these new things. We're, we're not even healthy enough collectively to get the best out of the, this newness that's, that's coming in. And we're all still functioning off of the past, off of past conditioning and the, the, the era that's ending. We're, we're all functioning off of that. And it's almost like outside of just the vision of the flushing of the toilet, it's like, I look at cars, for instance, car cars and computers. In the 1990s, computers look completely different than what they do now. They were heavy and bulky and could, you know, could only run DOS or Windows 95 and 98, you know, just very basic. And the same thing with cars, looking back at the, the 1990 Oldsmobiles and, you know, these cars that don't, they don't even make them anymore. They don't even make the brands. And looking at how 
let's say you were a car, an old car or an old computer. At one, one point you were new, you, you were brand new out the box. There were people that were excited to get a brand new 1985 Oldsmobile or a brand new 1990 computer. And only a few years later, it, it means nothing. Like imagine yourself as like the first iPhone. Let's let's make the iPhone come alive like they do in the movies. The first iPhone was everybody wanted it. And now the first iPhone means nothing. And that's how I see us right now, like this version of humans. We've completed. We are the completion of this era. We're not going to be able to build families like how we used to. We're not going to be able to build networks and be tribal like how we used to. Yes, you still have those, those energies still playing out in, in certain areas, but for how much longer? Because when you really think about it, it's definitely more younger people on the planet than there are older people. So when you look at the younger people being the higher population and, and seeing how collectively, how the, the younger generation operates, they're not going for the rules of the era that is coming to an end. They're full speed ahead towards 2027. So anything that people are talking about that deals with religion and, and, and going to school and graduating college and getting a degree and getting a job and uh, se sex before, not sex before marriage. That's, that's the wrong way to say it. <laughs> marriage before sex, you know, it, like all of those rules and, and all of that stuff that we were taught, they're not going for that. They're, they're already dominating in, in operating according to what's next. So for, for those who still have the dreams of the past, it's not to say that you can't still fulfill those dreams, but It's kind of depressing when you know that it's not gonna mean anything, when you know that the next generation is not gonna care about anything <laughs> that you're doing that does not represent the future. You're, you're not gonna be able to get, round up a whole bunch of young people and put them in a church and tell them to believe a certain, a certain thing. You, it's not happening. The church will be burnt down to the ground before you can round them up and, and try to make them believe the way that our parents and grandparents believed. They're, they're not in positions to, to where they want to, you know, they would really want to get bank accounts and, you know, do all, do all of those things that, that we were pushed to do as we got older. Because they have things like, you know, prepaid cards and cash app and, <laughs> you know, so many ways to have your own store on your own little website that you don't even have to pay a whole lot of money for. It's, it's so many things that deal with not needing systems, not needing community in, in, in the tribe in the ways that previous generations needed them. So 
re the relationships that you're seeing these days it's like these people are just like fl flying through they, I, I have so much so much that i want to say i i'm not even completing my sentences everything is about instant instantaneous instagram now 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 because the 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 speeding up of everything is is making people feel like i really don't have time to be patient because things are happening so quickly things are changing so rapidly i don't have time to heal from this previous situation before i jump into a new one so i'm just going for it you know problems and all trauma and all so yes there are a lot of people that are that are looking to better themselves and looking to heal from the past and decondition and all of that but this flushing of the toilet period is really it's really really difficult it's it's something it's something else and you you have to not just be disciplined but you you have to have a level of patience you have to be surrendered you have to be grounded or at least get some moments of grounding and th the way that this life is set up it's people can't think straight they can't sit still they they don't have the attention span like majority of people probably clicked off of this video within the first 30 seconds <laughs> because it's like you you know you, you look at the time it's like oh th this video is too long i i can't sit and listen to her talk for that long you know it's it's like there's no space there there's there's no time there's no space to really take things in and allow the 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 process the the different processes and internal cycles that you me us as individuals need to complete within ourselves in order to really experience more fullness within this life so it's it's like everyone is just getting like us us just samples just going through life getting quick samples of a whole bunch of stuff and then you're in and then you're out then it's over it's over so quickly <laughs> life is just over so quickly and <sighs> People are, are realizing more and more what's the purpose of, of, of planning <laughs> because, you know, you, you can, even in the most grounded space, the most peaceful and grounded space, you can plan something and life will still come and just smash it up, just, just completely shatter it because it's like, if, if, it's, if, it, if it's a plan, that is not factoring in what's coming if it's a plan that's just based on your your past and your conditioning and all of the old stuff is like how is it going to make it how is it going to come into fruition as we move into this a whole new world and just because we're going into a new era and a, and a new world it does not mean that it's going to be pleasant i don't feel that it is i don't with what's happening now i don't feel that just even though things can change very quickly 
when it comes to We we are we are we are dealing with building blocks. When we look at these cycles and these eras, these are building blocks. So yes, this this era that deals with community and family and tribalism and all of that. Yes, it's lasted for 400 plus years, but it look at that as like a layer. And and before that era, you know, there was a whole nother thing to that era. And before that era, so even though it's it's ending, it's it's a completion. Like we're completing this. And this lay the the layer that deals with community and everything that comes with that, everything that we know, we are completing that to to segue into the the next era and in that transition the the consciousness of all of the the people that are going to be transitioning out as the the new people transition in that's going to take time it's going to take time to for the new frequency of this upcoming era is going to take many years for the, the the energy to settle to like finally get anchored in it's not just going to happen like we move into 2027 and then boom it's anchored in like no it's still we're still going to be experiencing people that's still trying to hold on to the old era you still gonna hear, you know, people is gonna become less and less, but you're still gonna hear people talking about the old, the old days, talking about the old. Remember when, you know, all of those people graduated from that that historically black college, you know, just all all of the things that that we see now as accomplishments is is gonna is it's going to be dust it's going to be dust in a few, in a few years and it's it's a few people who i can have this conversation with personally but in being just straight up on this public platform I just feel that this whole thing is about accepting death. And I've I've said it before, but it's like the more time goes on, it's like the more layers of, of understanding and clarity you get. It's like you 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 have to accept that <laughs> whatever you thought that things were gonna be, it's just not. It's just not gonna be that. Like we've we've all been duped and tricked and lied to to a certain extent in many different areas and you have people that are just going to drown in that and then you're going to have people that recognize and they say okay it happened let me get as much truth let me get as much clarity and understanding as i can to bring myself to a place of of peace so that i can just accept this ride and accept that the majority of my life, I, I dreamed of one thing or thought certain things, and I realized that it, it was just all nonsense or it was all a lie. It was just not what it was, but I'm still here. I'm still waking up every day. Let, let me be as peaceful and as comfortable as I can while I'm here. And enjoy this process of being flushed down the toilet. Enjoy this process of suffering. Enjoy this process of struggle and hardship and confusion and chaos. Enjoy it as much as I can, even if it's just a little bit. Because
I feel that if there is a way or if there are ways to transition out of this peacefully, you ha you have to get to that place of surrender and acceptance and transition. Like you, 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 you it's like, I, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't see I don't see any other way. And it could be my limited perspective. So if if you the viewer, if you see another way of of dealing with this to where you are able to there there are some people that that feel that they need to go out with a fight. That's fine. Everyone, everyone has their own unique lane. Everyone is, is playing a role. So I do understand that. Me, I just, I feel that I don't want to put my energy towards anything that makes me feel resistance in my body. I want to have the most clarity, the most awareness, the most acceptance and no resentment, no hatred, no um, bitterness, no envy. I don't want to have any of that as I move with everyone else through this process. Because I don't, I don't want to carry that in my vessel while I'm still, he, still waking up, still growing, still learning, still able to function as, as a body. I don't want to harbor those low frequency energies just because the surrounding environments and, and the so society and just all of the stuff going on in the world is, is I don't, I don't want to harbor all of that just because of all of the low frequencies that are, that are swarming the planet <laughs> um, everywhere. You know, like I, it's like, that's the, that's the challenge, I guess. And I know not everyone can, can handle that or, or think like that because there, there are some people that just get more overwhelmed than others and they, they just, they can't get out of it. They can't let it go. But be because of the heaviness of this place, this, this planet, this, you know, whether we're on a ball or whether we're on a, a flat earth, it doesn't even matter to me anymore. Like all of the things that I used to focus on and, and it's like, it doesn't even matter because it's just too much. It's too much happening. It's too much happening right now. And everything in me, everything that I'm being driven towards is dealing with being at peace. Being at peace with whatever happens. I don't care about what the president says, I don't care what the president does. I don't care what this celebrity is saying about black people, white people, slavery. I don't care about what this person is getting arrested for, who this person is, is sleeping with. Like we, we need 
the 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 level of the high level of distraction the high level of focusing on stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with your personal life i feel that that there's so much more of it because of where we're at i i feel that it's it's almost like when when you know that it's over you'll do anything to 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 distract yourself from watching the 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 ending come like <sighs> sometimes i just got to stop talking cuz I, I i just get i just get just so filled up, so filled up with stuff that I want to say. And I don't want to, I don't want to sound crazy. I hope I'm not sounding crazy to y'all. I'm just trying to get it out. I'm trying to get it out the best way that I can. But when it, when we all know that it's over genetically we can feel it whether you're aware of it or not we are all wired differently and configured differently but we're still coming from the same human system like we're 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 coming from the same program just di different you know different unique variations of this program if the program is showing us okay doop 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 it's over <laughs> like this particular part of the program has run its course it's over so all of the humans that are configured based on this part of the program and also the previous eras but what's what's most potent is this latest part of the program and it's over we all know at in at some level within ourselves that is over so we're finding people are finding every way to distract themselves whether it's through being on your phone all the time through um and you know that consists of your your social media your your youtube your you know anything 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 just anything to to not watch it come to an end that's that's what's happening that's what i feel is happening right now and people i mean the level of insanity that the the, the level of people not caring about anything it only makes sense. It, it only makes sense. Now you, I know that you, you, you have your people that say that it's, you know, that the devil, the devil is running rampant. You got people that say that this is hell, that earth is the actual hell. And, you know, I resonate to, to so many different perspectives that still boil down to what it is, which is, it's over this is this is the end we, we're we're in the how do people say it? we're in the end of days yes yes we are we are and there are going to be people that make the transition of course people are going to be here and 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 watch the the change or watch you know the 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 actual beginning of 
the 2027 and beyond and watch whatever that brings. But in the meantime, it's like a lot of people are like, let's get drunk, let's get high, let's just have a lot of sex, let's eat ourselves to death, let's beat up people, smack people, shoot people, stab people, let's hurt animals, let's let's just go crazy. Since it's over, let's just let's just go crazy. I I just feel like that that's what's happening on a deep subconscious level for a lot of people. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just here. I'm just here with you guys on this camera, but by myself. Um, and I know I've, I've talked to a lot of you all who are um, loners and introverts. And, you know, I, I know a lot of you all are are really like watching me like, man, I, I really do get you. And then others are like, <laughs> Let me let me stop before I say something. But um <laughs> Yeah. We're just here. We're just here making the best of this thing. Um passing through, waking up every day, like, okay, what's gonna happen today? You know, like what is today gonna bring? Um You know, you, you you think about the things that you learn about, you know, you should save up money and, you know, you should build your credit and it's like, what am I saving for? You know, what am I building credit for? Like, what what is this? Where am I? What's going on here? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm glad that I'm a moment to moment person because if if i was not strongly wired to be able to be so detached from things and people and just in one minute you know like feel some type of way and literally the next minute forget like just forget that i was upset or forget whatever happened and i'm just so glad that i have that configuration because i feel that it's so necessary so necessary for me at least to be able to um just keep pushing through this um because if i was someone who was more more fixed and more you know like locked into my past and you know what i was taught what i was you know indoctrinated with you know i think now I would be at a place to where it's like, I don't even need to be here anymore. Bye guys. <laughs> like I'm out. <laughs> like, so it's the flushing of the toilet. That's what it, that's what it is. The flushing of the toilet. And like how I said before, it's, it's, it's the middle. It's like the middle of the flush, you know, not, not the beginning not really the end it's the middle you know because like when you first flush the toilet the it, it it's a a big spiraling down but when it kind of gets to the middle you notice how it gets it goes down quicker that's what i'm that's what this is it's it's the 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 quickening of the flush of the doo-doo and stuff and Yes, fresh water is coming in. Yes, you know, every every new day has every new moment has something to bring new into the reality, into the atmosphere, the environment, whatever. But 
is still dookie water because we're in the middle of the flush. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm over this. Like, I'm I'm gonna stop this. Um, thank you all for tuning in and watching. Um, for the people that have sent me, you know, topics and questions, um, you know, I, I don't know what's next. That that that's like my phrases. I don't know what's next. But if if I have one of those moments to where I'm like, oh, let me let me hop on this camera. Or let me try to do, a, I did try to go live earlier. Connection was not working out. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, if, if, if I'm moved to, you know, make a statement, a long drawn out statement <laughs> about whatever the topic is, I will. I will. Um, I'm still functioning. Um, I, I haven't lost it. I don't think I have. You all can be the judge. Comment below if you think that I'm going crazy. Um, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if, if you think that I am. But, you know, I would love to read, you know, some funny comments, you know, whatever you all want to say. Feel free to leave a comment below. Um, it's all a part of the flushing of the toilet, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So, um, yeah right now i must say that i i um i don't feel depressed even as i was doing this video i don't i don't feel depressed um i don't feel anything actually <laughs> like i just i feel like this nothingness right now and i i think that that's a good place to be um, I still care about people. I still care about animals, especially my cats. I have a bunch of them. Um, if anybody needs a cat or a kitten, hit me up. I have plenty, and I think I have more on the way. Um, but yeah, I'm just at a place of just nothingness. And um the website is still up for your mind shine.com. I haven't been on it in a while because my life has taken me in some other directions. So um, if anyone is interested in human design, if you would like a free DNA genetic blueprint, you can go to free your mind shine.com. I also do free partnership blueprints. I always have, but I just, for some reason, I just forgot to uh, advertise that for these last few years but you can get a free partnership blueprint if you're interested in understanding more about any partnerships, whether it's um, your significant other, your children, um, any type of two person relationship, you can get a partnership blueprint for free. Um, I'm going to just say that for now. Um, if you're, if you're interested in, in connecting with me, just hit me up. And we'll take it from there. Um, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I don't even know if I'm going to go back and watch this. Uh, maybe I will, because I, I think it'll be funny. But in the midst of my scattered expressions, I, I hope that something made sense and um that's it i'm done for real so for your mind to shine <laughs> until next time